Good evening. There's one word that you need to remember to get unstuck. Hi, my name's Patre. I'm a psychologist. I'm in the business of helping people work out their mind to make it their best asset. I got interested in psychology because I was fascinated about how people with similar abilities could achieve such different outcomes. How we use our mind is that differentiating edge that some people really know how to work. But all of us can learn how to make it a greater asset for ourselves. When I came across how we can use our mind differently, it really opened up a lot of doors and it opened up a number of ways in which I perhaps wasn't using my mind to its best ability. In cognitive therapy, so a way that we look about, look at and think about how we're thinking, there's a term called rational alternative responses. So how we can think differently in response to the events that are happening to us. Because quite often we can't change what's happening, but the one area that we can change is how we're thinking about what is happening to us. And so rational alternative responses, and there's a number of different prompts, and it can become quite a lot for people to remember. So once you've done it for a while, you get the hang of it. But every so often, sometimes there's a clever person who comes up with a really simple way to remember certain concepts. And so this concept is one that helps us to really look at our thinking quite differently. So that when we are stuck, when, when we're looking at something in a particular way and we're really kind of frustrated and we just feel like we just aren't getting traction on what it is or we're actually digging ourselves into a deeper hole. That deeper hole might be greater sense of anxiety, greater sense of depression, just a greater sense of stress and overwhelm and we can really feel quite challenged by it but often not always but often we just spiral down with greater negativity but one of the things we can do is if we can raise our level of awareness and stop and begin to challenge how we are thinking that can be the start of getting ourselves unstuck and getting ourselves out of the hole that we might have been digging ourselves into. So in cognitive therapy, they talk about looking at disputing our thoughts with these, coming up with rational alternative responses. And by change, by disputing our thoughts, we can change how we're thinking and also what we're thinking about and or at least change how we're thinking so that we're thinking in a far more constructive way and changing our thinking can lead to changing how we're feeling about something and that can then in turn lead us to taking action and sometimes different action to perhaps what we were heading towards by the negative kind of thinking we were in. So what is that one word that would be really helpful to think about? That one word is think. It's a mnemonic and it stands for think. T for true. So is how you're thinking, is it really factually true? Or is it just your opinion? And many times it's an opinion and maybe it's an opinion that we've absorbed from someone else or we've taken it on ourselves. So it's just an opinion, but not necessarily factually true. Now, even if something is true, is it really helpful? So the H in think is, is it helpful? Is how I'm thinking actually helping? Now, if it's not helping, and if in fact it's hindering you or harming you, then stop, because that's one thing that we have. It's no one's making us think a particular way. We can choose how we think because that is a private element, but it can certainly have some quite uh, powerful impacts. Is how we're thinking inspiring? Is how and what we're thinking about 
or particularly how we're thinking, what we're thinking about, is it actually inspiring us? It is, is it inspiring us to be the best we can be, to be the best we can be in this moment? Is it the best we can be living up to our values? Or perhaps even living up to being a role model for those in your life? Is how you're thinking necessary? Do you actually need to be thinking in this particular way about this particular thing? And quite often um, we can be quite cruel and unkind to ourselves. So the K in think is, is it kind? Is how I'm thinking about myself, this other person, the situation, is it kind? And perhaps we can change that. So the one word to remember is think. And it opens up a whole lot of other possibilities. But it is so relevant. Is how you're thinking true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? And quite often how we think is also reflected in how and what we're saying. So the same could be said for our verbal speech. So is what I'm about to say true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, kind? Is what I'm about to write in an email or a text, is it true, is it helpful, is it inspiring, is it necessary, is it kind? And sometimes we can think about it in terms of is what I'm about to um, aspects of it, whatever it is, whether it's thinking, speaking it, writing it, even drawing it sometimes, singing it, whatever it is, is it true, helpful, inspiring, necessary and kind? And if it's not, perhaps rethink it to find a way that it is more true or at least more helpful, more inspiring, Reflect whether it's necessary to think that way and what's a more helpful necessary way that would be more helpful to be thinking. And is it kind? Is it kind to ourselves? Is it kind to the other person? Is it kind to the world? And if not, perhaps choose not to say those things, choose not to think those things, choose not to communicate certain things. Now, that said, there are times where it is necessary to share some views that may not always be so well received by other people, but that's got to be in the context of constructive feedback as well. Perhaps we can leave that for another time. So what are the ways in which you can rethink how you've been trying to tackle something lately to get you unstuck. Look forward to hearing from you. Thanks very much.